Hey everybody, it's me Azalea. You're watching the Way Crunchy YouTube channel, this old shack series. For over a year, my partner and I and the kids have been fixing up a 1929 Extreme Fixer Upper. Now this house, we paid $20,000 cash and we've been fixing her up all this time. Now this house was the cheapest house on the market when we bought her. And we're really, we're really turning things around for this old shack. So on the last episode, I finished the painting in the upstairs hall. And the upstairs hall is also going to work as my desk space or my office space. I'm creating a little nook for myself because that's important. <laughs> it makes me feel sane. I have, I work, um, I wrote a book. I love to write. I love to make art. I run YouTube. I do content creation and it's nice for me to have a space to, to work on that stuff. So we're now on to kind of fun stuff in this office space. And a while back I had a virtual housewarming and a lot of y'all sent lovely gifts to warm this house with. Now, I thought we were closer to moving in at that time than it turned out we actually were. <laughs> so it's been a long time that I've had these beautiful presents stashed away for some of them. And now I get to actually start putting the house together. Good. It's so good. It feels like the house is our house. Y'all look. Look at it. He come up the stairs in our house. Ah. Oh. And we've got our beautiful light fixture over the stairs. Can I get both of these things in a shot? Our light fixture, our curtains, trim will come, trim will come. Now I got the curtain rod for $2 at the Goodwill, and then I had to spend $12 on the good brackets for them. But that curtain rod is probably at least $14 usually. And then hey, Mormon with the curtains. These curtains are gorgeous. Look at the fringe. I love the fringe. Ah. Uh, I can't believe. I can't believe it. I can't believe the upstairs hall came together. I guess we're at a point where things are coming together faster. But this is where I'm going to hang out. I want to stand here and look at my curtains and move the desk in here to see about situating that. But I have to go pick up my daughter from school. This, this is such a morale boost. And you know, I thought about changing the color on the curtain rod, but I actually kind of, I think it looks good. I think, I just think it looks so good. All right, y'all, I am back in my beautiful upstairs hallway a couple of days later. I fell ill yesterday. I would do a whole video just about that. It was terrible. Um, but I'm better today. And uh, mostly better. <laughs> way, way better. Um, so I am just itching to set up this haul and finish this haul. The floor must be finished and 
I need to figure out my desk situation. So we have actually a multitude of desks. We're probably gonna have to, so John's desk is already in his room. Z's desk is in here. Now, Tom has a desk back at our rental. I also have another desk here in Tom's room. And then I have a desk um, at the rental as well. So we have one extra desk. So I need to figure out which desk is for Tom, which desk is for me. And what that really boils down to is which desk is gonna fit best in the hallway. Cause this is a smaller space. So I need to, I need to pick the hallway one and then that'll leave two desks left over and then we can pick from those for Tom. So, let's see how this first desk option fits in the hallway. So I like that the chair's right by the window. A very real factor in my life is that I have seasonal depression. So sitting directly by a sunny window is a very good thing for me. You know, I was thinking about painting the desk, but I actually think it has a really cool kind of retro -y look just as the wood. Let's uh, look at it from another angle. All right, so that. That definitely gives more than enough walking space to come on through. Now, obviously I need to clean up from my painting, but I like having my desk chair over here in this corner because even if I'm sitting at my desk with the chair pulled back, there's still a clear pathway to the bathroom. So I'm not having to like move out of the way. Raise your hand if you're a person who makes small spaces work. It is not the norm to live in gigantic houses where every child has their own bedroom and there's a separate office and a dining room and a kitchen we're real people working with real spaces. That's, I think that's the demographic on my channel mostly. So, um, the barn is half the size, if that, less than half the size of this house. Um, but we are going to have three children and two adults in this house. So, it's not huge for us, but it's going to be huge in comparison from what we're moving to. I think this desk is it. One more reason that this desk is it is because we have one bathroom and there is not storage space in here. And so I'm gonna make one of the drawers in this desk um, like auxiliary toiletries for me. Like maybe I'll put my blow dryer. I don't even ever blow dry my own hair, but sometimes I blow dry Zinnia's hair. So she can come out the bath. I can sit in my chair and blow dry her hair. Um, yeah, it'll be nice to have that. Maybe, uh, and then what am I going to put next to the desk? I would, I have a printer, which is handy, um, for things that I do. So, printer might go in this space as well. 
Now, I'm thinking about my printer and I'm thinking about the space. And I tried putting a little shelf right here next to the desk and it's just, it's too crowded. It's too crowded. So what I want in this space is I have shelves that screw into the wall that I'll put up here, but I don't want anything on the floor right here. I really don't. Yeah, hang art on the walls, hang shelves on the walls, but that's all of the footprint that I wanna take up in this hall with furniture. Hang plants. This is space, that's that. All right, so the desk looks great. Chair looks fine. I'll probably get a different chair that looks a little more cuter. God, it's gonna be nice to have my own space, even if it's a hall. Now the kids' room is very large. The kids' closet is very large. I don't think I'm gonna keep my printer with my desk because I don't really use it that often. When I need a printer, I can just pull it out. And that's the thing, before I bought myself a printer, the reason I bought myself a printer is I'd always have reasons that I would need to print things. And then I'd end up going and asking my father or making a special trip to the library and then paying for a print. And it's easier to just be able to take care of it my own self, in my own time, in my own home. So at some point when I did have a little bit of extra money, I decided that was something that was gonna significantly make my life easier. And then once I did get it, at the time I was homeschooling my son, and not only did I use it for things where I needed it, when I needed to have something print, but I also used it for a lot of things that really, printing things off for Tom. Um, and then my daughter loves for me to print her a coloring sheet. She can pick any character in the world and there's a coloring sheet on the internet for free. I can print her a coloring sheet. So it ended up being something that was fun and useful in ways that weren't also just necessary. So I had it for those necessary events and then also it turned out to just be a nice thing. I can also, it's got a scanner, I can do copies. Anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the printer just in the, in the bottom of the children's closet and pull it out when we need to print things. That's my solution for that. I gotta tell y'all, I'm in my second trimester of pregnancy. When I was very first pregnant, I had COVID-19. I still can't catch my breath. I know y'all can hear me breathing on my YouTube videos ever since I had COVID, which, you know, I just breathed quietly before I had COVID. And I was fully vaccinated. I wish I hadn't had COVID. I wish... COVID was never a thing that came into all of our lives. But it did. So we all must go on. So, okay. Now, that's the desk that's going to go in the hall. Now I'm going to move it back out the hall because I need to clean and paint the floor. And then I can really truly move in. But now I know what I'm moving in which makes me feel prepared and better. So y'all, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna just put together room by room. That's what else we're doing now, waiting for an electrician. And then we're gonna watch a little bit of drywall go up and we're gonna be putting together rooms 
And my true wish is to be in by the winter solstice and Christmas holiday season. And then we'll put up decorations and have our first family holiday in the home. Lord willing. All right, so I, because after I paint the hall floor, I'm not gonna be upstairs for a few days because that floor just needs to sit and dry. But I want to mop over here because when we had the mini split put in, it was a muddy day and I just, the floor needs to be cleaned before I put Z's furniture back in place. So I'm gonna do that first. All right, now I'm making sure I have everything I need from upstairs to work on things downstairs, the vacuum, the mop soap, the paints, anything I need from upstairs, I'm gonna do downstairs so that I don't walk on this floor until it's ready to be walked on. Now, I'm not actually gonna paint the floor right now. I'm gonna mop it. And so then I'll probably come back later this afternoon or tomorrow after it's totally dry, and then I'll put the paint on. Okay, so, another round of Moppy Moppy. Time to just go over this floor a little bit. Tom's unpacking some things in their children's room. I'm not doing a real big painting thing, just cleaning it up a little bit. 